The Austin Area African American Behavioral Health Network is a close-knit group that meets throughout the year. They largely rely on each other because there just aren't enough professionals of color in Texas to meet the mental health needs of the state's growing minority communities. No formal data is available to track whether Texas doctors speak a non-English language. In terms of race, 64% of Texas psychiatrists are white, 3.5% are black, 12.4% are Hispanic. Dr. Rosalie Martin teaches sociology at Houston Tillotson University. Many people in our community have not been given the message or received the message of reaching out for help. And so what happens is that many times our families are in denial even about the help that's necessary. Many minority children and adults suffer quietly from conditions like depression and anxiety. Even when they do seek help, there aren't enough psychiatrists or psychologists around who can work through the language and cultural barriers. A diagnosis is important, but not having um, access to resources or accessing resources with persons who don't understand the reason for or the experiences people have had makes it very difficult to actually um, use services. Dr. Martin says in minority communities, mental health conditions often result from past trauma. Africans were brought to the U.S. as slaves against their will. Many Asians, such as the Vietnamese, were refugees fleeing war-torn countries. And many Hispanics are recent immigrants who speak two languages and alternate between cultures. Hogg Foundation for Mental Health Executive Director and Psychiatrist Octavio Martinez says training doctors to be more sensitive to other cultures can lead to better diagnoses and fewer patients ending up in hospitals, psychiatric emergency rooms, or dead. More training can help doctors get to the root of their patients' problems. An elderly Hispanic lady comes in who comes to see a physician is complaining of physical ailments. I have a pain here, me duele aquí, dolor. You know, tengo un dolor aquí, doctor, which means I have a pain in my back, doctor. And as you're going through, you're not finding anything physically when you do a physical examination that really would correlate with what's going on with this lady. But if you know about cultural issues, you know that there's something called somatization, which is that in some individuals, and mostly it's ethnic populations, will display symptoms of depression through physical pain. But recruiting more culturally competent mental health care workers isn't a simple feat. Many minority communities lack resources, and graduate programs take time and money. Hogg Foundation Program Officer Vicki Coffey Fletcher says the solution isn't just recruiting people of color. It's important to get help from under individuals who understand the culture, and that doesn't always come from someone of the same cultural background. So I want to be real clear about that. But it is helpful to have someone who has the interest and understands that there are differences in cultures and that we need to respect individuals from different cultures, understand their challenges, understand what their experiences are, as well as their understanding of mental health and wellness and recovery from their perspective or their lens. Budget cuts mean that statewide patient waiting lists are growing and becoming increasingly diverse. Experts say that means a limited pool of mental health workers must be more empathetic than ever. In Austin, this is Tan Tan with the Texas Tribune.